Hello guys, welcome back to Turner Guys, it's Jacob here and if you guys are wondering, wait, I'm wearing, I'm wearing the same shirt as in the next video. Uh, that's because I am, I'm recording these videos kind of like in sync, so I'll just record the last one. Um, yeah, this video today is about the things I've taken away from my interviews and my open days from different sorts of unis and how different unis compare to the uni I'm going to. Um, so yeah, um, he's got to be like a five things that I've taken away. Um, yeah, it's kind of it's one of those things where every university you go to is going to be different. Every university you go to is going to have its ups and downs and a bit in the middle. Um, so every uni is different. Every uni isn't going to be the same. You can't go to like Stafford Uni and then Hampton Uni and think, oh, these are exactly the same. Or just the best idea to do is go to uni before you apply I mean I'll say that to the end of my days go to the open days before you pick your uni Um I went to a Worcester open day and it was amazing and it was really well structured and I met brilliant students and I thought it was fantastic and I sat down on the park bench and thought I want to go here I said Kyle if it takes me five or ten years or if I apply for 20 times I want to go here this is my uni I think I'm gonna get the best education here so, yeah, but you guys might not think that. Um, every uni is different, so every uni will have a different course layout. Every uni might have a different placements depending on what you're doing, like paramedic science, nursing, midwifery, even hairdressing. Um, so every one will be different. Um, so I'm going to start off with my first open days that I went to. Uh, this was last year, so I went to Coventry City Open Day. Coventry City Open Day was... It was it was a good open day. I live in Coventry, so it's nothing that I haven't seen before. That's why I haven't gone to Coventry because it's. I live here. I want to get out. So I want to get out of Coventry and live my life a bit. So that's why I didn't choose Coventry, if you guys are wondering. I know people say Coventry is absolutely amazing for paramedic science, but they've actually only got the two year course. And I think it's by 2021, you need the BS. E? Not, not the BSC, it's a, you need the honours degree course to become a paramedic and I think that's the lowest standard you have to do to be a paramedic so that's why I didn't choose Coventry as well, there's a lot of reasons why I didn't choose Coventry, I'm not going to mention them all but you know, so when I went to the Coventry open day it was quite good, I mean uh, the students are quite nice, um, they have quite experienced staff and it, you can tell that it is a top uni um, but having a top uni does have its downsides. It's quite a packed uni. And if you want, like, not, I won't say quite, but if you want a uni where you know you can concentrate, then, you know, it's your choice. I didn't choose Cov, so, yeah. Um, the things I took away from Coventry Open Day was how professional they are. And you can really tell that they are a top uni and the way they say out and they are investing quite a lot into their universities. Um, we ha they have multiple campuses in the town centre and even if you come to Coventry and you look around everywhere is student accommodation. Like the past five years they've invested so much into it, like there's so much student accommodation is unreal. Um, <laughs> every other building you look at it's like, huh, student accommodation where it used to be like I don't know, no we can eat place, that's a true story. Um, so yeah, there's things I took away from Coventry every day, how professional it was and yeah. Um, then Staffordshire, open. was it Staffordshire Open Day? Yeah, it was the Open Day, it wasn't my interview, I didn't have an interview there. thought I did, but I didn't, it was the Open Day. The Open Day was, my experience for the Stafford's Open Day was not very good. Um, <laughs> in the like, bad way it went very good uh, I got there we were supposed to have transport from the train station there for some reason a fire alarm went off in the train station for no apparent reason so that was a good start um, so the transportation weren't there then they ended up blaming us because apparently we weren't there on time when we were we we're actually there early so I kind of thought meh not really that professional kind of a bit sloppy uh, when I actually went into the open day it was quite good um, the staff seem nice, the students seem to enjoy it. Uh, it's quite a nice city, but I couldn't see myself living there. Uh, the accommodation was just housing and I wanted halls and that's why I didn't go there. Um, 
So if you guys don't know, you can even choose two types of accommodation for your first year. Halls, housing, well, or a third option living on your own or with parents. As if you've already got your own house. I mean, there's no point going in halls when you've already got your own house. So, um, so yeah, that's why I didn't choose Staffordshire. It's because of the accommodation and that's what brought it down for me. Um, the next one is Birmingham. Um, Birmingham is one of those unis where it's got a bit of everything but not enough um it's got amazing tutors like that's the one thing i took away from birmingham the tutors are fantastic they are caring they are experienced they know that you can find this course somewhere else but if you choose to go to birmingham you'll enjoy it that's what they said like i said you could do this course anywhere but if you choose to, choose to come here then you're going to get the best experience um, obviously, every most uni is going to say that, but I felt like when he was saying it, it was truthful. I don't know if that's good sale, salesmanship or it was actually telling the truth. I talked to a few of the students. The students seemed really nice. The students that I talked to were quite nice. Uh, they said they were just really honest and, and in some cases brutally honest about the uni. And I think that's good. You don't want fake students telling you that this uni is amazing, but when you go to there, it's not actually amazing, and you want to leave after the first two weeks. Um, that's what I took away from Birmingham. How the the staff, uh, they've got. I think they're building a new building. Last time I was there, I don't know if it's built just yet, but uh, they're building a new one next to their house block. It's in city campus, so the uni was quite good. Um, Campus was nice, a bit small. Um, yeah, they only accept like 25 students. Uh, that was last year's. I don't know what it was this year because I declined them before they even gave me an offer. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did for Birmingham because I wanted to go to Worcester. Uh, yeah, so I declined them. I don't know how much their intake is now. Uh, I'll just give that a check on student, not student finance. Uh, um, UCAS. So give that a check from UCAS if they are still taking in, like how many they are taking in. I think the last time I checked was 25 students after, out of like a thousand that apply. So I thought a bit of a low rate, but they didn't answer me last year until very last minute. So I thought I was a bit unfair, but I guess you know. The I didn't go the next open day. Well, I'm not going to say open day, it was my interview for. Wolverhampton, uh, it was the Warsaw campus. I really enjoyed that interview. Um, it was a new interview. They said, look, things might go wrong in this in Things might go wrong in this interview. It's not your fault. It'll be our fault because this is a new developing interview process. Usually you have to have a maths and English test. The maths test you do have, if you fail it, that's not your, well, you do have a maths test, but it's very small. Um, if you fail it, then there's no problem. Um, let's just get a gauge of how good your maths is. What they're really looking for is your creativeness and your problem solving. So what they did, they set out like um, at two tasks. I'm not going to tell you these two tasks. I'm going to let you guys wait until the uni, until your interviews, because obviously I'll just tell you how to prepare for them. I'm not going to leave you completely in the dark. So I think, oh, for God's sake. Um, so you got two tasks, one's a maths based one and one's a team working based one. They're both round team working but one's maths. Um, so you, have to, you get like a bunch of stuff and you have to work with your team and communicate with your team to get this goal. Um, my advice would be, be, try to be the team leader but don't try to be obnoxiously loud. They don't want to see people shouting saying you do this, you do that. They want someone who is a good team leader who will just ask and ask their other teammates. They don't want people just to go off on their own and they don't want people to be quiet. They want people to talk and be themselves. The last one I'm going to say is Worcester. Now, um, you can see the smile on my face. Worcester was absolutely fantastic. I've been to a couple of their open days and it was just amazing. You guys know that I'm going to Worcester. The open day I went to, I just sat down on the park bench, said to Carl Law, I want to go here, and if it takes me 10 years, I want to go here. Uh, the things I've taken away, they are such an all-round uni. The campus is amazing. Um, the tutors are really nice. The students are really nice. They're, 
it's just a home away from home and I fell in love with it. I fell in love with the campus, the city. The, even the train station was just nice. <laughs> it's, this is weird, but I really enjoyed it. It's really nice and yeah. You guys might not agree with me. If you don't agree with me, that's fine. Just go to the open days. That's my, you know, that that's what I'm telling you guys to do. Just go to the open days and you might fall in love with uni and you might just say, I want to go here and yeah, just work really hard at it. You don't want to go not see a uni and go to it and find out that you really don't enjoy it and that you've wasted all this money and all this stuff just to go to uni you don't enjoy. So yeah, I hope this video helps you guys. It's been two hundred guys. This has been a. I tried to make this a five minute video, but it's just doubled to ten. Um, yeah, it's been two hundred guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a good day. Um, if you could do me a massive favor, like and subscribe, share this video with your friends. It helps us out so much. We're so close to that one thousand subscribers. I want to get there before you need, and it's like a month and a half away. So make sure you guys get subscribing. Anyway, this has been Jacob for two hundred guys, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.